James Webb Telescope. Seven all-new images shock the entire space industry. From its launch on December 25th, 2021, up till now, the James Webb Telescope has provided mind-blowing information on space. Each image is more fascinating than the last. As of today, James Webb has released seven images of space that have shocked scientists. What are these images about, and what does each image tell us that shocked the scientists? If you're an astronomy geek, stay tuned with us. NASA's project of $8 billion, the James Webb Telescope, has surely provided its worth within months of its launch. Today, we will talk about the fact-changing images James Webb has released and how they are better than Hubble's. What is the technology behind these, and what do scientists think of them? Though the Hubble has provided many images of the Earth, they are nothing like the James Webb Telescope. The purpose of James Webb is to enhance and extend the discoveries made by Hubble with more details. Right now, James Webb is in L2 orbit about 1.5 kilometers from Earth. The infrared light in James Webb allows it to see 13.6 billion light years, roughly 100 million years after the Big Bang. James Webb has many features that allow it to deliver such high-resolution pictures. James Webb was released into space with a purpose, to learn about the first light in the universe, to know what happened before the Big Bang, to learn about the formation of planets and stars, to learn about black holes. James Webb only began his job that will change the future a few months ago. So what makes it possible for James Webb to capture such detailed images? A near-infrared camera, or NIR cam, with a wavelength range of 0.6 to 5 microns is the principal imager of James Webb. The camera has a cornograph which enables it to capture images of small dim things close to a bright object similar to a stellar system. As a result, just as we do to block out sunlight, we can see the dimmer objects in the shadow, bringing out the details. Now, let's take a look at the shocking images of James Webb. An image of a constellation, Ursa Major. On launching, the biggest challenge for astronomers was to set the web in space. The web has 18 mirrors that needed to be aligned as one giant, high-precision, 6.5-meter, 21.3-foot primary telescope mirror. The process took three months. Scientists used the NIR cam to align these mirrors. Each mirror segment took its own picture of the same star. These 18 unfocused pictures of the same star were brought together in one frame as a sharp image, giving it the shape of a mesmerizing hexagonal snowflake pattern. This was done to get the same relative locations as the physical mirrors. After alignment, the mirrors took the first image of a telescope named HD 84406. Although the image was a blur and out of focus, scientists could still see the bright future of James Webb. Now scientists can control the individual mirrors to get images from different angles. An image of a random star. In May 2022, James Webb was fully aligned and dropped what you could call a teaser before the big film. James Webb captured an image of an ordinary star. Two mass J1755402 plus 6551277. But the results were not ordinary. The result was the same star that the researcher used to align the mirrors. But the resulted image was not anything like before. The image was clearer and more detailed even though the telescope was not fully ready to function. The captured star is 2,000 light years away and well within our galaxy. Look at all the galaxies in the back that are a million light years away from us. The image brought hope to scientists that James Webb would surely provide groundbreaking images of space, as the captured image was just a test picture of James Webb. The image surely shocked the scientists at the power James Webb held in space. The Large Magellanic Cloud Apart from an NIR cam, James Webb is also equipped with an MIRI cam and a spectrograph. These instruments allow the telescope to observe the mid-infrared range. James Webb released a new image at 7.7 .7 microns, showing a part of the Magellanic Cloud, a small satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, located about 160,000 light-years away. When we compare the same image from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope's infrared array camera, the difference in quality and detail is obvious.
The web image revealed the interstellar gas in unprecedented detail. Though the image is not as sharp as James Webb's, it was still in its early stages when it was captured. It still shows the emission from hydrocarbons or carbon-hydrogen molecules that are crucial to interstellar gases' chemistry and thermal balance. After this, the scientists were hopeful that MIRI's sophisticated detectors would enable it to detect Kuiper Belt objects as well as the red-shifted light from far-off galaxies, protostars, and faintly visible comets. The image depicts the gravity cluster SMACS0723. On Tuesday, July 11, 2022, President Joe Biden revealed the first deepest infrared image of the Earth. Now, if that does not intrigue you, I don't know what will. It is packed with hundreds of galaxies, including the infrared world's deepest objects. In this view, the galaxy cluster SMACS0723 is seen with a large number of additional galaxies in front of and behind it, as it would have been 4.6 billion years ago. By looking at the image, we are looking at some 1 billion years after the Big Bang. The image also shows similar to how a magnifying glass warps and bends images. A galaxy's cluster's strong gravitational field can bend light beams from farther away galaxies that are behind it. As stars look brighter at shorter wavelengths, they are also recorded with noticeable diffraction spikes. During a live NASA TV presentation on Tuesday, July 12th, NASA and its partners unveiled the complete collection of Webb's first full-color photographs and data, referred to as Spectra. Image of Stefan's Quintet NASA's most recent photograph, taken with the Webb telescope, shows Stefan's Quintet a collection of five galaxies situated 290 million light-years away. The captured image covered an area of one-fifth of the moon's diameter. The image contains approximately 150 million pixels and is assembled from almost 1,000 independent image files, the space agency said. New details about the cluster are shown in the image, such as the birth of millions of stars as they did millions of years ago and the tails of gas and the dust. Dust being tugged in various directions as the galaxies perform a cosmic dance. According to NASA, the most unexpected image shows one of the galaxies, NGC 7318b, slicing through the center of the cluster. Image of a Dying Star – Southern Ring Nebula The Southern Ring Nebula, a planetary nebula, is depicted by James Webb in another startling photograph while it's dying, named NGC 3132. The captured star is 2,500 light-years away. A galaxy far behind this nebula was also visible to JWST, beaming edge on through the leftmost clouds. With exceptional detail, the image depicts star-ejecting gas and dust as it dims. The star in the image's center has been emitting rings of gas and dust in all directions for thousands of years, and the telescope showed that it is cloaked in the dust. It has provided scientists with a lot to study about how stars are formed and destroyed. Hundreds of new stars in the nebula are revealed in the final image. The Carina Nebula, which is found in the Milky Way galaxy, has undergone new research thanks to the final image released by the James Webb Space Telescope on Tuesday. The image, which just depicts the nebula's perimeter, reveals hundreds of previously unseen stars inside the cloud. Though many images have been provided by the Hubble, none are as detailed and as fascinating as this. The nebula's enormous volumes of dust and gas prevented the Hubble from accessing it, and the stars were hidden from human sight. The region known as the Cosmic Cliffs exhibits a giant gas in its void. Created when newly formed stars push down ultraviolet light to form the jagged appearing edge. Each of the smallest dots seen in the picture represents a galaxy. Scientists were able to study that the smaller the dot, the older the galaxy is. On a closer look, researchers saw that new galaxies were forming and old galaxies were dying at the same time. The new galaxies were absorbing the old, dying one. That's it for James Webb today. Scientists are positive that soon James Webb will be able to look at the time before the Big Bang, just before the galaxies were formed. NASA's million is to see the first light of the universe. What do you think about these pictures? Much explanation is not provided by the scientists, but who knows? You may be able to find something. Tell us in the comments.
like the video, share, and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this.